Hey everybody, how's it going? This video is for engineering students or soon to be engineering students. I'm gonna give three tips for college, specifically around engineering, but it all revolves around time management, which is everything. The people that can manage their time well are the ones that can get a 4.0 and still play video games. And everyone else that doesn't manage their time well, those are the people pulling all-nighters. Time management leads to less all-nighters, less time in the stinky computer lab, more time to hang out with your friends, more time to drink, more time to play Smash Brothers, you know. All in all, you need time management if you want to do well. Three tips for engineering students in college, all around time management, let's do it. My first tip is to just prepare for the lecture and you would not believe how much time this saves. 90% of students go to lecture without preparing and they retain like 10% of it. And if you fall asleep in class, you retain 0% of it. You have the syllabus and you have the notes on exactly what the professor is gonna cover in each lecture. What's really good to do is before the lecture, just spend 30 minutes to an hour and prepare and read a little bit about what the professor is going to talk about. I didn't do this personally for some of my hard engineering classes when I started college and it killed me. It killed me. After lectures were over or when I was starting my homeworks, I realized I didn't retain anything from the class. So after each lecture, I had to spend like three to five hours just going over the notes, reading the textbook and making sure I understood things again. A little bit of prep goes a long way and you don't have to play catch up after the lecture is over. Once you start doing this, just preparing for the lecture, you just get it. You just understand it more when the professor is talking about it. You don't waste your time. If you go in there and everything is over your head, you waste a ton of your time, the whole lecture is wasted, and then you waste like multiple hours after the lecture just to catch up. My second advice for engineering students revolves around coding assignments, which are sometimes the hardest. The thing you have to do, the moment you get your coding assignment, just to read through it all and actually put it into your subconscious. Actually, it sounds a little fluffy, but it's really not. It's like if someone implants a problem in your brain. You're just gonna think about it for a while. When you walk to class, walk to the gym, go get your lunch, you're gonna subconsciously think about this problem. Let's just take two scenarios. If you read the assignment in its entirety right when you get it, you'll probably have two to three weeks just to think about it and complete it well. But if you just pick up the homework and the coding the weekend before it's due, you don't even have time to think about it and you probably won't even finish it. It's just planting the idea into your head, into your subconscious. Just read through the assignment. You don't really have to start it or finish it on day one. Just read it and figure out exactly what you don't know. Remember, you have to figure out and know what you don't know. If you don't know what you don't know, you're really screwed. Use your subconscious a little bit. Just implant these problems as early as possible. And I promise this is gonna save a lot of time. Okay, third and final tip about saving time is to find a friend. Actually, of course, you're gonna have friends. All engineers are really social, right? Well, I guess the point of this is that it's really, really good to find someone to periodically sync up about what you're working on. Find another person in your class, hopefully equal levels as you. You guys have to be around the same, but use that person to periodically sync up and explain to them what you've been working on. And then after you're done explaining, have them explain what they've been working on to you. I guarantee you that if you spend some time explaining what you've done, you're gonna understand it a lot better. And you think it's time wasted just sitting with another person, go over any things you've already done, but it's actually a lot of time saved, I promise. This doesn't really have to be your best friend. It could just be someone else in the class. And I promise they will greatly appreciate anyone you asking to do some work together, all right? So time management is really everything. Once you get your time management down, you won't even have to stay up all night. You can play your League of Legends, you can drink your beer kegs, you'll have time to do that stuff and still learn a ton of shit. All right guys, hope this video was helpful for all the students and potential students out there. Um, a lot of time management things helped me out a lot when I was in school, so hopefully you can use some of these things. 
please just drop me a comment if you have any questions. Give me a thumbs up and watch my video next week. All right, take care and have a good week.